Hi, my name's Joey. I'm with Leafy Gills, and right now I'm going to talk about a bell siphon, which is a very commonly used siphon in an aquaponics system. It has a lot of mystery surrounded around it for a lot of people. When you first see it or you first are introduced to it, you might think it's super complicated and very, very hard to use or hard to do, but it's, it's very simple and very easy, and I'm here to explain it to you guys. As you can see right here, I have one going now. It just actually started. I have a bell siphon going, so on this side, I have the water being filled up from down below and on this side is my bell siphon which is siphoning the water right now and lowering it down into the tank at the bottom. You can see the water level being lowered and this siphon is not hooked up to any electricity. It does not have anything really hooked up to it at all. The only electricity in this system is the pump that is pumping the water up into the grow bed. Now you can also notice that the water is being drained faster than the grow bed is being filled. That's very important. Your bell siphon won't work very well if you have too strong of a pump. If your pump's too strong and it beats how, if it beats how fast the siphon can drain, then you're going to have some problems. Now, as you can see, hopefully you can see, there's holes in the bell siphon down here, and there's also this tubing right here. And that's basically to expose air, because right now the siphon has no air going through it. And because it has no air going through it, it's siphoning. But once the air gets introduced, it's going to break and the siphon will stop. There's the burp and the siphon has stopped going. I'm going to shut off this water real quick. Now I'm going to show you guys what a bell siphon looks like on the inside. So complicated, right? So scary. On the inside I have a standpipe. Now the standpipe is obviously going to dictate how much water I can get in the grow bed or how high I can get the water in the grow bed. Now also notice in the standpipe, notice that the opening is big, but the pathway to get back down is much smaller. Now that's on purpose. That helps with your siphon because really to get the siphon going, like I mentioned, we need to get all of the air out of, out of this area, all of the air that's going into this pipe along with your water. You need to stop all the air and you need to make it all water. So when you have water being filled with a big hole going into a smaller hole, it's much easier to eliminate how much air can get through, which is going to increase the amount or, or speed up the time that the siphon gets going. Sometimes. Uh, these bell siphons can be a little bit tricky and they can be kind of a pain in the butt to get the siphon going and working well. So the thing that we realized is bigger hole to smaller hole really, really helps, really, really helps to get the siphon going. Now this is really called the bell siphon itself, okay? Typically this will be called your standpipe and this is going to be called the bell siphon. Now the bell siphon is basically a ABS pipe with a cap on it and we have holes drilled into the side of it because as it stands over the standpipe the water is going to be filled up going through these holes surrounding the standpipe giving it some pressure and it's going to be filling up all along here once it starts to fill up it starts to go down the standpipe and like I mentioned once the air is escaped and the air is gone all the water is going to start rushing and the siphon is going to begin it's called atmospheric pressure, which is going to start pushing it down and giving it much more of a, of a faster flow rate as opposed to just pouring something out. It's going to get that siphon going, which is going to be pushing the water out and pushing the water back down into your fish tank or back down into your reservoir. Now you might be wondering, why do we have this tube on the side of it? Now the tube is kind of a newer method or somewhat of a newer method, I guess, um, that people developed naturally. Um, the tube is meant to help break the siphon because like I mentioned, as your water starts to get siphoned, it gets lower and lower and lower. Now once the water gets so low that it gets back to the, the peak of this circle, it's going to allow air to be introduced and it's going to allow the siphon to stop or break. Sometimes you have troubles, trouble with the, the water getting low enough to get back down to here. So what people will do is they'll introduce a tube on it and the tube is going to be now used to break the siphon and used to introduce air into it. So again, you fill up, 
The siphon starts to go as the water gets to the certain level of the standpipe. Your siphon goes. Your siphon will then break once the air gets reintroduced when the water level gets low, lower again. And that's how your bell siphon is going to work. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Again, my name is Joey from Leafy Gills. We hope to hear from you very soon and have a great grow.